Hello everyone, today I'm going to go over a film about three ordinary girls who turn into three extraordinary women. Hello everyone, you're in an all new action reaction. Today I'm going to be going over a very entertaining and fun film that's also a guilty pleasure for me, and that is Charlie's Angels from 2000. First directed film by Mick G. And uh, yeah, for a directorial debut, this is not a bad film. He had experience directing music videos, and he definitely brings that element to this. But as a main angels, we have Cameron Diaz as Natalie, Drew Barrymore as Dylan, and Lucy Liu as Alex with Bill Murray as Bosley. We also have Sam Rockwell in the film as Alexander Knox, with appearances of Tim Curry and Crispin Glover. So it has a pretty good cast, and the action is very well done. This is a short movie, but of course it's based on the 1970s hit television series, Charlie's Angels. It pretty much follows the same vibe, but you can tell this is right after the first Matrix. It's definitely that early 2000s slow-mo action vibe. It's very ludicrous in many ways. A lot of this breaks the grounds of reality, but something about it is just so entertaining. I love that opening on the airplane. You think it's LL Cool J there. He has a cameo. This guy has a bomb. He's gonna blow up an airplane. They stop it with Motley Crue's live wire playing. They're skydiving. I love that opening, very Mission Impossible-like, where it's just like, you crazy bastard, and he's like, I think you mean to say crazy bitch. And we're introduced to Charlie's Angels on a mission. They stop this bomber. And we get this brilliant opening montage that is pretty much a homage of the original show. There's many moments that are recreated from the original show. But in Charlie's Angels, we get to see more of their personal lives. Of course, there's a lot of dream sequences, a lot of crazy, zany comedy, but that just all around adds to the vibe of this film. It very much has that 2000s Hollywood blockbuster look to it. Very music video-like. Brilliant soundtrack. Angel's Eyes by Aerosmith. Again, you have Motley Crue. Prodigy, Korn, Destiny's Child in it. Really great song. It was very much a hit song at the time when this came out. And it's pretty much a basic plot. After their personal lives are dealt with, we get to be introduced to a mission. Alexander Knox, played by Sam Rockwell, is kidnapped. There is a competitor named Roger Corwin, played by Tim Curry. He's stealing identification software and is going to use it for the wrong reasons. So their mission is to find Alexander Knox, where he's been kidnapped, and find out why Roger Corwin stole his identification software. Of course, there's many twists and turns in this story, but as an action movie, it's very enjoyable. And there's so many other action movies of the early 2000s that are very silly by today's standards, but something about them still felt like a 90s action movie, but with like the millennium. And Charlie's Angels definitely fits that bill. There's that great scene with the racetrack. Uh, the creepy thin man fight is amazing. I love that fight. Very Matrix-esque. Uh, it's been parodied in Scary Movie 2. A lot of the fight scenes with Cameron Diaz and Natalie's character is really well done. When they try to attack the angels, there's some really good fight scenes. Lucy Liu and Crispin Glover's fight scene. And they spend three months training for the fight scenes. And you can tell they definitely do a lot of their own stunts. Drew Barrymore actually purchased the film rights for Charlie's Angels before this film was made. So she had a hand in this. They don't use guns like in the original series. They use more combat towards the guns, more martial arts skills. We also get to see more of their scientific side of disguises and different ways of breaking into places. That's really well done. It's not just looks and martial arts. There's a lot more to Charlie's Angels that make them really uh, three-dimensional characters in this. Bill Murray is funny as Bosley. He really is a highlight in this. We also have the same voice of Charlie from the television series in this. Above all, Charlie's Angels is not the best film ever made, but as for me, it's a guilty pleasure, and I think if you're looking for like a fun movie where you don't have to think too much about it, just want to enjoy a movie late at night that's like action-packed, filled with good music and looks nice, I would recommend Charlie's Angels. I give Charlie's Angels a 3 out of 5. Charlie's Angels is more of that kind of blockbuster fun action film, and is one of the better television adaptations. I still think Mission Impossible may be the best one. And sure, while the movies may kind of take a few embellishments from the television series, it very much has the essence of Charlie's Angels, but modernized for the 2000s era. And I really like it. It has a really good plot. It's shot nicely. For Mick G's first film, it's actually very well done. But what really makes this film is the chemistry that the angels have between Drew Barrymore, Cameron Diaz, and Lucy Liu. We also have Tom Green in there 
as Chad, uh, Dylan's boyfriend. So, yeah, uh, Drew Barrymore and Tom Green were dating at the time during this movie. And we almost had a cameo from the original Angels. Farrah Fawcett wanted to be a voice of Charlie. Unfortunately, that didn't happen. And um, originally, another one of the Angels wanted to be the role of Vivian. That didn't happen either. So it's very interesting to see where it would have gone with the original Angels added. But if you look on it on its own, without being compared to the series, it still very much has the essence of the television show, but a bit more silly, a bit more fun, and uh, yeah, it really is something on its own and pretty much a product of its time. If you have seen Charlie's Angels, let me know what you thought of it. Did you think it was just silly and just dumb? Or did you enjoy it? Just let me know in the comments below, what did you think of the film? It's one of my favorite guilty pleasure films, one of my favorite action films, most definitely. Just let me know your thoughts in the comments below, and feel free to like the video, comment, and subscribe for more videos. Check out my other action reaction episodes.